if you are that that slacker barista. I'm a nurse at Temple, and as part of our contract, like our build up to our contract campaign, we polled our members about their student debt because we're going to be demanding that the employer also offset the debt, right? And so 120 of our members had a total of seven million dollars wow. in nursing debt, in student nurses. debt. These are nurses. Yeah, nurses. These are nurses, and oh. you you have to have a, a college degree to be a nurse. And we're struggling in the hospital. Right. We need more nurses. Who who wasted seven years in college studying completely useless things now has loans and can't get a job. Joe Biden just gave you 20 grand. I have like 80 something, 88 thousand dollars of debt. It's just increased year after year. I mean, they increase, that increase uh, yeah, because interest it, rates? They're all federal loans. Yeah. Some of them have six, seven percent interest. Yeah. I mean, we put off buying a house. I'm in my 30s, put off buying a house, put off getting married for a while. Don't know if we can have kids because student debt is, I mean, it's just overwhelming. And now as a union organizer, I'm explicitly excluded from the public service loan forgiveness program. Like, holy cow, 20 grand. That, you know, maybe you weren't going to vote in November and suddenly you just got 20 grand. And, you know, if you can, you know, get off the bong for a minute and, and, and head down to the voting station uh, or just send in your mail-in uh, ballot that the Democrats have helpfully sent you, um, it could drive up turnout, hmm. uh, particularly among young people. My uh, student loan payments every month are double my rent. Uh, about 1100 we pay eleven hundred dollars every month for student debt. And I refinanced, yeah. What does that mean in terms of your financial situation in your life? I'm working two jobs now and that's gonna be my uh, future for a while.